January 2, 2015. Real Estate Capital Scoreboard Dash January, 2015. Chicago, Illinois, January 2, 2015. As the middle of the decade starts, Treasury rates are drifting downward, with the benchmark 10 year Treasuries dropping nearly 20 basis points in December alone. In contrast to a year ago, five year Treasuries are slightly higher while 10 year notes dropped a half of the percent lower. The tightening yield curve usually indicates an economic slowdown, such signs are hardly evident as the domestic economy. However, the impact of the overall global health becomes more impactful on the United States each year. Most economists are perplexed about rate movements, especially those predicting higher interest rates. As recently as a month ago, numerous forecasts called for 10-year treasuries to increase to 2.5% or more, while earlier in the year forecasts of 3% or more were common. Certainly, 2015 will continue to be a challenging year for forecasting interest rate movements and timing. Nevertheless, nearly everyone agrees that rates are near the bottom. By all measures, now is one of the best times to take advantage of capturing low interest rates, especially for longer-term debt. Mortgage markets clearly reflect rate euphoria for borrowers as an almost endless supply of funds flood commercial real estate markets. As expected, mortgage spreads over treasuries are under intense pressure to tighten. Given the current oversupply of capital, spreads may drop below 100 basis points for premium quality, low-leverage funding opportunities. For more ordinary deals, new spread ranges will likely be 25 to 75 basis points higher. On the other hand, lenders are trying to maintain reasonable yields by instituting rate floors for longer-term debt, typically 3.75% to 4%. And should treasuries remain low throughout the next few months and assuming inflation fears subside, expect the removal of rate floors. Gene Peck, the Real Estate Capital Institute's director, emphasizes that 2015 will be remembered as one of the best years for borrowers to take advantage of extremely low interest rates. Adding, if a deal does not pencil out at today's rates, then move on.